Hi, in today's video I wanted to do um, sort of an accessory to some of our popular apps which is QVR Pro and QVR Elite. Um, so we have a free app that's available in both um, the uh, Android Play Store, Google Play Store, as well as um, on iOS devices in the in the App Store there as well. It's completely free and it allows you to turn your um, mobile device, maybe you've got an old um, iPad or iPhone, something like that, an old Android phone, um, that you'd like to turn into a security camera if you can. And they, obviously with the battery and the, the, the Wi-Fi that they have, or even the, the cellular, cellular, cellular usage that they have, uh, you're able to put them anywhere that you like that's convenient uh, for you to be able to um, monitor an area. Um, so just for giggles today, I've uh, configured uh, one of my old iPhones and I've put it in my car, so we'll go check that out later. If we come into QVR Elite here, um, all I've done so far is created a recording storage, just 500 gigs of capacity. And then what I've also done is gone into camera settings um, and added in a camera. So here we can see um, I've got a camera here added that's called car. And what I'll do now is um, I'll switch it over to uh, my mobile phone, where on my phone I'm going to have it set to uh, show different, um, a different perspective of setting up the app. So all I've done here is gone to the, uh, the app center on my iPhone, uh, Google for VCAM, uh, search for VCAM and uh, downloaded that app. So once we switch over here, what I'm going to do is just go through the different app. Okay, so here you can see, and by default, the setup wizard has come up and it's showing um, steps one of two. So the port number has defaulted to 8080. I'm not going to change that, but just remember what that is. Username, I'm just going to type in here admin and the password. I'll put QNAP and QNAP. I'm just going to put the tick. So now it's just jumped straight into a view out of the camera. So you can see sort of my desk set up here with all the different monitors. There's my my. Uh, real cameras with my real uh, uh, setup. So here in this view, uh, what I'm going to do is go to the setting here, which will pop out and it's going to allow me to change the resolution. So by default, it was 640 by 480. And I'm going to change that to 1280 by 720. And then once I'm happy with how everything's set here, I'm just going to push the blue button. The blue button is going to effectively allow the camera to be recorded um, from this phone. Now important information you need is at the top right. So it's telling you the IP address. So that's the LAN IP address of this phone. So I'm going to hit the red button, confirm that local devices are able uh, to connect in. So now what we're going to do is we'll just cut away from VCAM for a moment so that we can go back to um, uh, the desktop setup. So we're going to add this one in. So we'll remember that the IP address here is 10.10.0.108. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go add a camera. So I'm going to skip this step and just immediately click next. I'm going to add the camera manually and I'm going to input the camera name. Um, so here I'll just put um, iPhone, let's say, because it's my iPhone. Uh, the brand section, you go down and you'll search for QNAP. I just type the word QNAP, select the option that comes up. And in the drop down, you'll see QNAP VCAM. The name matches the app. The IP address here is what the IP address said at the top of the VCAM um, application. So in my case, it was 10.10.0. 108. The port number has defaulted to 80, but if we remember when we set it up, the port was 8080. So I'm going to add another 80 on the end of that. Uh, the account is the admin account I created, and the password is just the uh, QNAP QNAP that I typed on the device itself. So now we're going to hit test, and we should get a green tick at both locations, both on the preview pane as well as over here. Now, once we're happy with that, we can click next. Ask you if you want to change the camera settings. You can edit them now if you want. Uh, basically, do you want uh, audio recording and things like that enabled? You've got different things for stream settings, maybe Motion JPEG or H.264. I'm just going to leave it as default for this setup. Click Next and click Finish. I'm not going to save the password. So we can see it's come in as idle. It says recording stopped. Um, but if we were to switch back to the camera now, um, the camera is now um, able to show the view that's happening uh, directly on the screen. So this is showing at the top left corner now a red IP address that's appeared, which is 10.10.0.129, which is telling me that the server that's recording from it has that IP address. Um, so that's now recording here so I can turn the camera around. So everything that's happening is happening um, on this camera here. Um, so what I can also do here is if I just cut away from the phone for a second, if I open up the QVR Pro client on the main machine, 
So I'm going to log into my environment here if I drag that in. I've got the two options here. So number one is the car. So there's the one I've got mounted in the car. I just sandwiched it between the, uh, the driver's seat and the headrest. And I've also got um, an iPhone view here. So I can drag that in as well. Um, so we can see that we've got the uh, the two views that are on this. So obviously I'm holding it, so it's not ideal. But as I move the phone around, you can see it in the main view on the screen. So it's very easy for you to uh, sort of use and, 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 and add a camera any way that you want. You're, of course, only limited by uh, the amount of battery life that's available on the, uh, on the phone device as you're trying to do this. Uh, so it's very good to be able to... to really put a camera absolutely anywhere you want and it just lets you use the hardware of the uh, the phone or the camera that you already have uh, it just lets you use it in a different way uh, so hopefully you you found that useful just a, a quick example of uh, one of the free apps that we've got that lets you augment your um, your QVR setup um, and again at any point you can go back in time and, and look at the different footage here so if I zoom into the timeline uh, go back a couple of minutes here we can see that the different options, you know, you can go back in time. It's recording everything. So long as your phone's connected to the Wi-Fi um, and connected to the, uh, the the NAS, the QVR Pro or the QVR Elite, it's going to be able to record the footage directly from it. OK, if anybody has any questions, uh, do let me know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.